The Russo brothers have got, you know, they're very busy in, in terms of, now, they're not doing a lot of directing lately, but they're also, they are doing some directing, they're doing some writing, they're doing some producing, stuff like that. And they've got this new series coming out called Citadel. Now, while talking about Citadel, the interviewers who were talking to them about it brought up the idea of, well, listen, you know, James Gunn has got this, because uh, they're tight with James Gunn. James Gunn has this new Batman movie, The Brave and the Bold, coming. And they basically straight up kind of asked him, would you guys want to do a, a movie, a Batman movie, uh, over at DC these days? This is what uh, they said. Anthony Russo said this. We get asked a lot about DC characters. And Joe Russo said, obviously, James over there running it, it would be a no-brainer. We love him to death. We love the direction that he's going to take that world in. You know, he's going to be, he's going to be inventive with it and favorite DC characters. I mean, man, there are so many good ones. I always answer based on the comics I collected as a kid. And the two comics I collected the most were Spider-Man. Well, actually three were Spider-Man, X-Men and Batman, but there have been a lot of iterations of Batman. So I feel like that's an obvious answer. Anthony Russo then kicked in and said, but you know, it's hard not to answer that. Here's how you know we haven't actually gotten literal about it and specific about it because, yeah, Batman would be my favorite character for my entire childhood. But obviously, it's been well explored. And this is all, of course, coming from uh, reports coming out about them saying that they would love to direct a DC Batman movie and all this kind of stuff. All right. Now, obviously, my dream scenario, which is clearly not going to happen, my personal dream scenario was... Ben Affleck directing this because I was with you as Robin. Yeah, with me as his Robin. Robin. I will be your Robin, Ben. I'll put on them damn tights. <laughs> Nobody else may like it, but I'll do it. <laughs> Chafing be damned. Um, I, I mean that was obviously my my big dream, uh, and that's clearly not going to happen. But my goodness, could you imagine James Gunn, who has worked very closely with the Russo brothers for many years? They have a great relationship. Uh, and I love the Russo brothers. I mean, they, they have been so generous with me over the years. Like they've come into our, my offices and studios on multiple occasions. They've always been really, really, really good. They've sent me anyway, the idea of them now putting maybe one foot over into the DC world to me, that would be very exciting. And the idea of them maybe working on a Batman project, even something like brave and the bold would be very exciting in theory. Now, I should say right off the top here, do I believe this will actually happen? I do not. Let me be clear. I don't believe this will happen. I'm not saying it won't. I'm just saying I don't believe it will. But theoretically speaking, were James to give them a call and say, I would love for you guys to direct this Brave and the Bold movie. And it's pretty clear that they would say yes. I would personally be very excited about it because one of the things that I think I've started to recognize myself is that the Russo brothers, as gifted and as wonderful and as talented they are, I think they fire on all cylinders best when they have a creative studio head that they're working with, right? It's not a coincidence that their best successes have come when they've been working with Kevin Feige. And, and some of the stuff that has been outside of Marvel has, has not been my favorite stuff. I'll be honest, I love these guys, but you know, some of the things they've done, not my favorite stuff outside of Marvel. But when they're working with like a Kevin Feige, man, they fire on all cylinders. And I think if they were in that type of a creative symbiotic relationship, if you will, with like a James Gunn, I think Joe and Anthony would crush, absolutely crush a Batman movie. I think they absolutely would. And again, I think it would be a wonderful, another marriage of the Capulets and the Montagues and to bring the world of DC. I learned that from Chris Carr, everybody, mm -hmm. uh, to bring the worlds of DC and Marvel a little bit closer together. I'm real proud of you. Having, having some of the foremost directors that have ever worked in the MCU to now come over and do a Batman film. I think that could be fantastic. Do I believe it will happen? No. Could it? It could. Would I love it? Yes, I would. Anyway, Chris, those are really three big questions for you. Mm -hmm. Could you see a Joe and Anthony Russo directing a Batman movie? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Will it actually happen? And how would you feel Maybe. about it? Um, I would be really excited about it. They do great in the superhero space. It does have a little bit of a feel of X actor wanting X role kind of thing, right? Where yeah. it's just, oh, a, direct, a set of directors wants to be involved in a huge potential franchise. 
Details at 12. Um, could we bring up that amazing image, though, that you just had up, Jonathan, of a particular Of that Batman? nothing character that of will that never be a real thing? perfect, Terry McGinnis, who is going to have <laughs> a film? Yes, he is. Listen, we are going to get a Batman Beyond film, and who better to bring on in the Russo Brothers for that one? I think that could be really, really fun. Because I, I've heard rumblings that Andy Muschietti is potentially... And talks about Batman stuff, too. I don't know if that's true. I think it all kind of hinges on, you know, his film doing well. By the way, um, for those you who don't know, Andy Muschietti is the director of the upcoming yeah. Flash film, which we're seeing next week. Well, like Actually, that. you know what? <laughs> I just thought of that one week from today. Yeah, y'all are going to be in there. We're going to be in, or at least me and Ray yeah. are going to be in that. Because Chris has got a pre pre engagement. <laughs> I on will that. be teaching voiceover. Hey, We're gonna be you... watching the Flash next one week from today. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty cool. If you want to learn about voiceover, I've got a boot camp this Saturday. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm very dedicated, you guys. We're gonna uh, see it, right, John? The Flash, the one that you said would make more than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume mm. Three. I what? Mm. When did I say that? Yeah, I think I remember you saying that. <laughs> that was definitely what the bet was. That's definitely that, what it was. That for, for sure. sure was that fifteen dollar bet. Yeah, but I think they did. I think this could. Go really great for them. They have a great relationship with James. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't they do it? I think we could see that in the future. But again, so much of this stuff that we're talking about is more of that definitely maybe kind of camp. Right. Right. Yeah. People sound really, really interested in it, but it's going to come down to schedules working, everyone having the same kind of creative vision, yada, yada, yada. So hopefully we'll see it. But if we don't, I'm sure they'll find somebody else to fill the shoes. The, the thing that throws a little bit of a wrench in this, too, is that there has been some, I mean, public statements made that the Russo brothers would also be interested in going back to the MCU at some point. Uh, Kevin and the Russos have a great relationship as well. I, I don't know if Kevin would think it would be a great, you know what? Yeah, let's get the Russos working on DC movies. I and, love that. Or Mommy whether and Daddy Kevin, can have shared custody. Someone or can maybe have them Kevin on goes, hey, I love you, James, and what you're doing over there, but the Russos are kind of mine. I mean, I... Maybe I feel like be it'd be that? shared custody and sure they're going to fight over who gets the holidays. I want two but... Christmases. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. No one wants for you. <laughs> what do you think about this and the comments being made by the Russo brothers? Could you theoretically see them going over and directing a Batman movie or anything for James Gunn over at DC? Uh, listen, would you like it? Maybe you wouldn't. Whatever you think the possibilities or lack thereof are, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. Guys, it is 2023 and online privacy and security has never been more important. You see, every device, phones, computers, tablets has a unique IP address, which is like an internet phone number and reveals personal information about you. It's super simple for somebody online who knows what they're doing to find your IP address. If you've ever clicked on a sketchy link or opened an email from somebody you don't know, your IP address could become exposed. Now that's where ExpressVPN has your back. ExpressVPN is an app that hides your real IP address and replaces it with a dummy one, keeping you safe and private. And you don't have to be some kind of techie to use a VPN. Guys, it is so easy to use. Just download the ExpressVPN app on your phone or computer, tap one button to turn it on, and you're protected. And if you like your streaming entertainment, here's the coolest part. They let you choose what country you want your IP address to look like it's coming from. This is incredibly useful because services like Netflix and Disney Plus give you different shows depending on what what country you're in. So secure your family's online activity and unlock tons of new shows by visiting expressvpn.com slash campia. Use my link and you can get three extra months free. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com slash campia. Go to expressvpn.com slash campia to learn more.